So you may or may not know, but Pirelli have brought out some road tyres for bikes. These are the Pirelli P0 Velos, which is the kind of summer tyre. They, um, they have three of the tyres, the, the, uh, the TT version, which only comes in 23mm. These come in 23, 25 and 28mm. These are the 25s. And they also do a 4S, basically a four season tyre, which is kind of the crap weather tyre. So ideally this time of year, it's like minus two this morning. I could do with the 4S, but I've been given these, and um, beggars crappy choosers. I'm gonna give them a go. I'm really excited to try these, because I'm a massive Pirelli fan. Um, I always use Pirelli tyres on my motorbike, um, just because they have all the brands I've ever, I've ever tested or used. Um, I've always liked the Pirelli tyre. They always feel comfy in, in the turns. They, they feel predictable, they have feel, um, and lots of grip. It's just, just, just a tyre brand I always trust. Um, so seeing, seeing the Pirelli, Pirelli logo on a, on a road bike tyre kind of gets me excited a bit. Which is a bit sad, but yeah. Um, packaging wise, is really nice. I like a nice, a nice bit of packaging. And it's recyclable, in cardboard. Shows you how to put a tire on, in case you don't know. Many people don't, to be fair. Uh, about the box, um, they're really supple. They're real supple tire. They don't feel particularly um, rigid like some like the Continental tires. We've got some of those somewhere. Compared to the GP4000, so compared to the GP4000, the GP is a lot more rigid. Um, yeah, so the, car the carcass is a lot more more resistant. Whereas you look at the um, the actual Pirelli, it's very supple, very very soft. The design of the tire is similar to the motorbike tire actually. Um, basically, slip down the centre, and then you got the the cutouts on the side. Uh, so basically as you roll the tyre over, you, you're basically supposed to get more grip, this is going to be a bigger contact patch, so, so they say. I've spoken to various tyre manufacturers in the past, and a lot of them say the cutouts and robot tyres don't do anything. Because the contact patch is so small, regardless of cutouts and different designs, it doesn't really do anything when, when you're actually riding through the wet, because the, the contact patch is so small, it's cutting through through anyway. Um, but yeah, these, look, these are really good. Um, I like the design. One thing I wish they had, I wish they had the yellow logo on the side rather than the P0. I wish they had, wish they had that stuck on the side there, just to give that, that kind of pretty edge. But, but yeah, I guess it would look good on old bikes. Um, but yeah, let's see how much they weigh. So 201 grams for a 25 mil tire, which is pretty good. So 201 grams for a, a tire is pretty reasonable, reasonable weight. Comparing to the Continental tyres, the GP4000s, and these are a 23, I believe. Yeah, 23. These come at 218, so they're actually lighter than, than the GP4000s. Um, but the proof's in the pudding. It's not going to be a very scientific test, but basically I'm going to stick these on my road bike uh, tomorrow morning. Um, plenty of tarpon powder in there. Uh, I'm going to use a latex tube, and I'm just going to compare them to my current tyres, which are the Vittoria Corsus. Yeah, coarser tyres, not the coarser speeds, uh, which I'm running at 28. So they're always going to feel a bit different to that. I'm expecting to feel harsher, but more important is it's down to roll resistance and feel and grip. But um, I'll come back to you on that one. So I just put the tyre on, and you can see the type of powder on there, which I've used. Um, this is a Vittoria, Vittoria room. It's a Illusion Nero. Uh, they come out of 23 mil wide. And with the tyre on, which is a 25, it measures... 27 mil. So it's two mil bigger when he's actually fitted, just to give you an idea of what it's going to look like. What better day to test a summer tyre than a day like today. Two degrees outside and it's just started snowing. So it's been a few weeks now of um, regular riding on these tyres, done quite a few miles on them. What's my opinion? Um, the P0, it's a lightweight tyre, it's a supple tyre, it's a fast tyre. Uh, comparing this to a GP4000, which is basically the, the benchmark, um, Continental, they've got it down, you know, their, their tyre is, it ticks all the boxes. It's not the fastest tyre out there, it's not the slowest tyre out there, you know, it, 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 but it's the, one of the best tyres out there for, for sure. Um, the P0, it's a very good competitor. It, retail price, if you look at the actual list price, not the wiggle prices or the you know Merlin prices, um, these retail for 40 quid, where the uh, GP4000 is 60. I know you can get in cheap if you look around, but how long is that price going to stay? 
um, where these actually are you know, 40 and I've seen a few for 35 if you look around. But performance wise, the very fast tire, lightweight, supple, tons of grip, especially in the dry. However, on the wet conditions, and I did ride in icy conditions, they were, they were slippy as you'd expect, but the, um, they're not very predictable. Whereas the GP4000 are predictable. If that makes any sense, I, I, you, you kind of know where, where your limits are, where, where, the, where, you, where you stand with um, the GP4000. But if I had a choice out of two, I would get these, yeah. I would get the Pirelli, so check them out if you're looking up for some new tyres for summer. Maybe not this time of year, but if you have to a new tyre, Pirelli P0 is a good option.